All right, you guys, so let's just dig into this video. We're gonna actually check out a clip of a video of a security guard that of Buster Rhymes that recently did an interview. I believe it was with uh, Capone show, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but we're just gonna watch a short clip of it where he's basically kind of spilling tea on Buster Rhymes. I, you know, like I'm after the video, I'm really gonna let you guys know what I think about it. Um, but this is in no way at all any diss on anything. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna talk about it because there's been a lot of stuff with Diddy, um, Busta Rhymes recently, and while accepting the Lifetime Achievement Awards at B, you know, with the BET Awards, he at least a many claim that he kind of took a shot at Diddy, um, which I think is interesting because I'm pretty sure. Busta Rhymes has attended more than one Diddy party, um, but we're, we're gonna check this out. Let's just check it out. That's my thing, but like this has been common knowledge though. Like all my promoter homies would always say, man, you know, we gotta bring some, uh, we, we, we gotta bring some, what they call them? Uh, wow. I'm not gonna say it over here. They call them uh, fun boys. They just say, we gotta have some fun boys in the section for Busta. Cause you know, I, I, I bodyguarded for Ghostface Killer before, you feel me? And being around him, you 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 hear things, you feel me? Come on, damn. And I never heard anything auntie, like, about Busta over the years, you guys. Fan. You feel me? Like every cookout, she playing it. All his little fast rapping, all of that, him and Craig Mack playing that. Bro, on my soul, I'm out with a group of people at this time, um, I was with uh, Don Benjamin. You familiar with him? No, never heard of him. Model dude, like a model guy. He be doing like some rapping and stuff. His name Don Benjamin. The, I'm out with Don Benjamin, and the club we ended up going to, Buster Rhymes in there. So he got it was a little lawyer guy that was with us, and the little lawyer guy we was with, you know, he was a gay. All right, y'all, he's getting ready to kind of get into a story. Now, so far, I want you guys to leave comments. I'm going to let this video play, but let me know what you guys think. Does he seem credible? I mean, he's wearing his sunglasses, but I mean, I don't know. I, he said it's common knowledge amongst industry people. I never, you know, I'm not an industry person, but I never heard of anything like that with Busta Rhymes, but let's just let this video play. Super cool. Tell me good guy. Bro, Busta Rhymes wanted him in his section so bad. Like, what? <laughs> Pulled him to the section, like through the rope, and tucked him off in the corner. So I'm looking like, well, he ain't come with us. But I know he was in the little group. So if I go out with somebody, like a group of people, I try to make sure everybody get there together and leave together. No, he stayed with them. He stayed in there with them, bro. For sure, bro. You ain't never heard about this before, have you? Bro, this common knowledge, bro. Like, yeah. If you in the mix, bro. If you in the mix, like I've been in the mix, you know this, bro. How wow. long has it been like this known about Buster Rhymes? Oh, I knew about this like in 2012. I knew about this in 2012. How can we think nobody else speaks up on it or says anything? Because, bro, these people admire these people so much. They want to make sure they in the section, they at the club, they at the video shoot, they can get backstage. That matter most most to them. That matters so much to people. It's crazy. Like, but if you notice, like, it's countless videos of Buster Rhymes getting mad at females for just being girls. This girl touched him one time, he go crazy, throw a drink on her and everything. Now See I, what I'm saying? Like, what? Now, I do remember, sorry, you guys, I do remember hearing about that. I don't know if any of, any of you guys have heard about Busta Rhymes getting mad at, at some fan or woman that just literally just touched him. You know, I don't know if it was for an autograph, whatever, but I don't know. Let's, let's keep going. What? Why are you getting mad at females? You go to these guys, they in the club, go to their section. It's all men in the section. That ain't weird to nobody. I'm going to the bar, sorry. Text me if it get dangerous. 
what is all this club security in here? Like, nothing's finna happen. Nobody wanna kill you guys, bro. Like, when I get jobs from people who really got a threat on their life, I move way there. Nobody wants to kill these entertainers like that, bro. Like, when I do my threat assessment, there's never an immediate threat or danger. It's never, it's never a situation that they're gonna tell me, oh, this person wants to murder me. This person wants to bring harm on me. It's never like that. Them type of people be normal guys. So, I hear somebody say, oh, he's cute, I want him. So when I heard that, I turned around like, man, did he just say that? Are you getting all this jewelry to attract some men in here? You wild. Shocked me. But so enough. And that, that was the guy the Buster Rhymes pulled back? He pulled him into, pulled him into the section. Pulled him into the section, and then and they walled him off like, like this man, I'm like, damn. And that little dude was so happy, he couldn't believe that. He was shocked. But man, you ask, bro, anybody that's in the mix, bro, like you know, bro, most of these dudes, bro, putting on a major act, they don't want to be they self. It's crazy. They'll get mad at you for buying bottles of champagne to get a girl. They'll get mad, oh, we don't want these bottle rats in our section. What are we here for? What, what, what are y'all here then? What are y'all here for? Just because y'all got booked to be here, okay, but sometimes they not booked. They just in there. He is kind of making a good point, though, you guys. Uh, I mean, if they don't want any, you know, bot bottle rats or pop poppers or whatever, I guess, whatever, whatever the terminology is for women in their section. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's keep going. So, and what they looking for, it ain't gonna be what you thinking of on God, seen it. Buster Rhymes ignited a firestorm at the BET Awards by publicly alleging mistreatment of young rappers by Diddy. Okay, you guys, so my thoughts on this video, for one thing, I just want us to be very clear that it does not necessarily mean that it's 100% true. We don't know. We don't know just because somebody does an interview, they got on the sunglasses and say they've done security for whoever, X, Y, Z, um, does not mean that everything that comes out of their mouth has to be the truth or is the truth, any of that. Now, my opinion, do I think it's probably true? I do. I do think it's probably true. Um, it just comes off that way. It doesn't mean that it is. Now, this is the thing. I think that it's no shot on preference or sexuality or whatever. Because I think uh, Buster Rhymes, as long as he is happy, healthy, he's not hurting anybody. He has a right to like whatever, whatever his preference is or whatever. Buffet of life, God bless, whatever. Um, but what I think, the reason why this kind of raises bells, right? or raises like an alarm, so to speak, is that I think that, especially recently, many of us, we're aware of kind of like what is really going on in the music industry. And now, granted, he, Busta Rhymes, has not been in the position as, same position as Diddy, where he's necessarily really signing artists, um, per se. But I just think that, you know, anytime, now just because that, you know, might possibly be, Buster's preference doesn't mean that he's necessarily exploited anybody. I don't know though, because like I say, I, I highly doubt that uh, Buster Rhymes has never attended a Diddy party. I think he's probably attended more than one, probably been very excited and happy about getting those invites from Diddy to attend these parties. And um, you know, if what the security guard is saying is true, then more than likely, you know, he might have enjoyed himself. Uh, Buster Rhymes might have really enjoyed himself being at these these Diddy parties. Um, I think it's kind of, and it's not just on Buster Rhymes, but I think it's really interesting how all these artists, whatever, powerful people have attended Diddy parties, been close friends with Diddy. Then all of a sudden, once the hammers drop down on Diddy, and the spotlight is put on Diddy, then everybody then is they're so appalled and they didn't know and oh my God, um, and they wanna make their distance. Um, you know, and I'm not saying that they shouldn't, but many of them have participated, been part of stuff, um, you know, 
none of it really surprises me you know if it is the, the case with uh Buster Rhymes none of it really surprises me at all whatsoever um but it's just you know like I say do whatever they, they want to be part of these different you know little parties little freak parties and stuff god bless just don't exploit anybody that's how I feel I feel like there's a lot of young artists that are talented they have they you know they're vocally or whatever they're just talented people they have the look they're great performers and that is that alone is doesn't seem to be enough to get that deal signed or to get their music played on the radio instead they have to do a lot of behind the scenes stuff they have to attend these parties they have to you know take part and and be participants in a lot of this stuff in order to secure their spot and that's the part i think is really messed up so like i say um i don't know if buster rhymes has ever been in that kind of like powerful position he's collabed with a lot of other artists before um but i don't know if he's ever been in a powerful position over another artist where it's like you know i won't collab with you or you know i don't even know maybe he has signed other artists before maybe a buster's part of some uh actual like label where he's you know a record industry person i don't know um but to my knowledge he's been more of an artist um but i just think it's funny for him to throw dirt at diddy when more than likely you know prior to everything going down he was probably good friends or happy to be friends with somebody as powerful as diddy um and probably has been attending over the years many diddy parties happy to be in attendance to those parties and might have really enjoyed himself unfortunately at those parties as well so it's like you know i don't know um but you guys leave comments down below let me know what you guys think um yeah and i will check you guys out on the next video